time for another demo. Here we have the most recent one I finished. This is a nine string hybrid bass guitar, guitar, bass. Don't really know how to classify it, but um, it has a little bit of, a little bit of both to it. Construction wise, it is a nine string guitar. Spacing wise, it's guitar spacing. Um, 30 inch scale length, 27 inch scale length fan fret. It has 30 frets. The tuning is where the bass comes into play because this is down low in the bass registers. Um, <clears throat> so what we have here is a single cut body, neck through the body, construction. The woods are mahogany and zebra wood for the top. The, the body has a layer, two layers of poplar, a uh, core of purple heart, and the rear has walnut. This is flayed, flamed, it is not flamed, it is roasted swamp ash, maple, and then embellishments that are, there are uh, little details of red oak and mother of pearl dust, and kind of just throw a little bit of flare in there in one little uh, roasted maple cat's eye on the bottom there. The neck has, actually there's a layer of paducah here too, you can see the red. The neck is roasted bird's eye maple, which is a very beautiful looking piece that I found for this one. It worked out really well. And the headstock matches the body with the with the walnut, the poplar, and the, and the <coughs> purple heart. So now the tuners for this thing, when you get down to it, is we have eight locking hip shot guitar tuners and one ultralight bass tuner that can handle the very bottom string. We'll go over the tuning here in a second. Electronics are a pair of EMG 909s paired together and slanted to go along with the, the fan fret. The bridges, this is all individual um, hip shot solos. They are strung through the body. The, uh, this actually has a preamp too, which is an EMG, a BQ, BQ, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. EMG preamp with a volume blend, bass treble, and then two mid range controls here too. Um, run off a single 9 volt battery, so it's wired that way. Now the tuning, this is where it kind of gets wild. So this is down in bass registers. So we think of it as a six string bass with an extra bottom string and then the two extra high strings. So from low to high, it's B flat F G, I'm sorry, B flat F C G D A E B F sharp, and that's F sharp as in F sharp zero, or however you guys want to consider it, the super low. This is B. So in bass registers, so they're way down there. So it's the stuff elephants can hear. You know, brown note stuff, but um, I can barely play this thing. So I'll play you a few notes on it so you can kind of hear what it does. So do each string individually. So check this out. heavy gauge for the, the length that they are but think of it as um the typical bass that would have a low f sharp like this you're looking at like 160 170 gauge this is actually a 130 gauge there's a lot of slack to these strings so you gotta be wary of your attack but this it kind of defies like why this works it doesn't really make sense because these strings are light gauge considering what they're being used for, but it works. Don't ask me how, I'm not a scientist or a, I, I don't know, I just don't know, but it works. And it's a, it's a really cool concept, really cool idea. I had a lot of fun building this. It was really interesting. Nice, nice, just out of the box, oddball sort of thing, which is what I really enjoy doing. So 
Um, if this sort of thing is what you're into, you like what you're seeing here, if you'd like to, to inquire about getting one for yourself or something similar to this, feel free to hit me up. Um, you can give me a, an email at beardlycustoms at gmail. Uh, go to beardlycustoms, be I'm sorry, beardly-customs.com for the website and you can fill out a form there for um, inquiries. Um, Facebook and Instagram on there as well too. So any questions or anything you guys have, please feel free to hit me up. Oh yeah, before I got to tell you, the fretboard is Mun Ebony. Check that thing out. And there's, you can kind of see there, it's kind of bad, bad for the lighting, but it has Wenge binding on it too. I forgot to mention that. It's good stuff there. Anyways, so like I said, if you want something like this, straight your fancy in, or something else, a regular base, whatever, just let me know. We'll work with that and go from there. But uh, thanks for watching. And again, sorry for my horrible playing on this thing.